Hi, welcome back to Ethical Hacking. For this lab, we're going to look at the basics of reconnaissance, scanning, gaining access, maintaining access, and covering our tracks. Scanning and gaining access will be the focus of this lesson, as we'll be really have no use for reconnaissance. We're in a lab right now, and we know that our lab is where the system is. And the reason we're scanning it and what's on it is, well, because it's in our lab and it's a security lab. The scanning's where we'll start. I've set up a system. It should have these ports open. So let's look at how to scan a network and uh, scan for those ports. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and bring up my window here and do an nmap dash in dash dash open. We'll look for those ports. It's going to be a dash p for ports. Those ports. And then my network. I'm on the 192.168.1.0 network. And I'll press enter and see how this goes. Now Nmap's going through, doing its thing, looking for any hosts that have all those ports open. Now I see we've got one here. We've got 205 has a couple ports open. A few others have a few ports open. They'll look down. Well, I've got two of the ports open on this one. And that's actually probably the one I want. Two remote access ports. One's Telnet and the other is 33A9. Uh, for the test, we'll actually have four ports open and we'll have to look for all four ports. But in today's lab, we only have two ports open, so we can see this is the IP address. It's 1.19. So now next, I'm going to move over, and I want to gain access to the system. So I'm, I need to know a username in that system that I'm going to scan for. So if I want to scan, I can, of course, pick a user list and go down the user list and scan every user with every password. But I'd rather just, if I can, enumerate the users on the system and use that to pick one of those users. And we'll show you how that what that looks like. So right here, I've got the nmap dash dash script, user share nmap scripts, smb enum sessions, nse, and then 1.19. I'll see if that works. And of course, right now, all we have is administrator logged in. Now for the lab, I'll go ahead and log in a couple of other users. So we'll go telnet 192.168.1.19. And I'll create a couple of users. This is for the teacher side. And let me start up another one. Telnet. 19, I think. Uh, another one is. OK, good. So I've got a couple of users logged in now. And this is just for the teacher's computer. So we'll ignore that for the video. All right. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to scan again, see if there's anybody else logged into the... Yep, sure enough, someone else is logged into the system since last time I scanned. We have Fatma logged in, Bushra is, are logged in. Both these users are logged in. Now I'm going to use Hydra to try to get their passwords. The way I do that is this, this script right here. You can see that as we move forward, it's becoming a little more complex. Like I've got the user there, I'll just choose Fatma. And the IP address is 19. So I'll grab that and I will try to find my session. There it is. And I will, no, it's not. There it is. And I'm going to try to Hydra this thing. I'm going to, to uh, try to crack the password. So I'm scanning it. Sure enough, I got the password back. There we go. And the password was pretty easy. It's Fatma Fatma. So now I can telnet over to the system. 192.168.1.19. Log in, Fatma. Password, Fatma. So now I've logged in. Now, once I enter the username and password at, under my telnet, I need to find out what other users are in the system. So I'm going to go ahead and type net user. When I do that, I can see I've got a bunch of different people on here that I may want to log in as. So I'm going to use those accounts on my next step for cracking a password and then doing remote access. 